results. While the gloss and glam of a finished product may suggest a simple filming process, there are sometimes numerous roadblocks. And those bumps can sometimes be the megastars themselves. Here are the 10 impossible to work with celebrities fired during filming. Charlie Sheen. Two and a half men. The major winner, or, in this case, loser, is at the top of the list. Charlie Sheen, star of CBS's Two and a Half Men, was fired in the middle of the season for dangerously self-destructive conduct, including allegedly calling producer and co-creator Chuck Lorre a clown, and a dumb, stupid little man. Sheen is probably better remembered for his post-termination public appearances, which included a series of frenetic TV and radio interviews in which he insisted on being a winner and that his success was due to tiger blood. Richard Gere, The Lords of the Flatbush This celebrity is well known for his historic dispute with Sylvester Stallone while filming The Lords of the Flatbush in 1974. If Gere's squabbles with Stallone hadn't ended for him instead, it may have been his big break. The incident that tipped the scales, according to Sylvester, who spoke about the celebrity drama in an interview with Ain't It Cool, happened during a lunch break, when Gear allegedly strutted around in his oversized motorcycle jacket and dropped a particularly greasy piece of chicken on Stallone's pants. Gear was fired from the cast after that final straw, and Perry King was cast in his place. Isaiah Washington Grey's Anatomy Dr. Preston Burke was a popular character in the medical drama Grey's Anatomy, until he was unceremoniously removed from the show's primary plot. After uttering a homophobic slur in relation to T.R., Isaiah Washington was fired on set in 2007. Knight, played by George O'Malley, is a fictional character created by George O'Malley. Seven years later, his character reappeared on Grey's Anatomy, causing huge controversy for the network. It's unclear if his reintroduction was worth the public relations nightmare, but this celebrity got a second shot on one of television's most beloved programs. Maggie Roswell. The Simpsons. Maggie Roswell, the actress who plays Maud Flanders on The Simpsons, may not have a familiar face but you're probably familiar with her voice. While the Fox star said in an interview that she was dismissed because she asked for a raise, the show's producers claim otherwise. The voice actor stepped down because she no longer wanted to go to Los Angeles from her Denver home, according to Fox officials. Following her request for a rise, Fox upped her $2,000 per episode salary with a meager $125 stipend. The raise offended Roswell, so she departed the show. Dominic Monaghan Lost Dominic Monaghan discussed his character, Charlie Pace, being killed off during Lost's season 3 finale in an interview. He didn't contest the decision to leave the show, admitting to his difficult-to-manage behavior on set. However, there was more drama on the horizon that tipped the boat. Monaghan was reportedly bitter after his romance with co-star Evangeline Lilly, played by Kate Austin, ended. On set, he was obnoxious, and on Twitter, he made some serious charges about co-star Matthew Fox. The cast and crew were most likely unconcerned when Monaghan was forced to leave the island. Shannon Doherty, Beverly Hills 90210 Beverly Hills 90210 was a popular show in the 1990s that was plenty of attitude and drama, both on and off screen. Shannon Doherty was known for her on-set brawls, always picking confrontations with the cast. Tori Spelling, Doherty's co-star and the show's producer's daughter, spilled the beans on the drama. She acknowledged to playing a role in Doherty's dismissal, eventually requesting that her father, Aaron Spelling, Cancel Doherty's contract. Doherty's provocative behavior spilled over into her other parts, 
including a memorable brawl with co-star Alyssa Milano in the 1998 series Charmed, which resulted in yet another bad-blooded firing. Taylor Momsen, Gossip Girl Taylor Momsen, who starred in the Smash series Gossip Girl for four seasons, has revealed that she will leave the program for an indefinite hiatus. Momsen, who first appeared on film at the age of seven, was already well known for her nasty vocabulary and outrageous behavior before the premiere of Gossip Girl. Momsen just performed the show for the money, according to a source treating it like a 9 to 5 with no emotional connection. After enduring season after season of her unreliable and erratic conduct, the producers decided to fire her. Thomas Gibson, Criminal Minds Gibson, the team's hotch, was sacked from Criminal Minds in 2016 after a brawl on set. During the argument, the CBS drama's actor allegedly kicked the show's producer, Virgil Williams, over a disputed line in the script. The cast was well aware of Gibson's violent tendencies. In 2010, he and the assistant director had a similar violent altercation, which earned him a bad reputation and a series of anger management workshops. Gibson was fired as a result of his provocative behavior and alcoholism history. James Remar, Aliens. He's best recognized for his supporting appearances in movies and television shows such as Dexter and Sex and the City. James Remar was scheduled to play Corporal Hicks in the film Aliens, but Michael Bean was cast in his place. His dismissal was not without cause. It was publicly revealed at the time that Remar had left due to creative issues with filmmaker James Cameron. His departure, however, was later discovered to be owing to his possession of drugs throughout the filming process. Judy Garland, Valley of the Dolls This ruby-heeled emblem ushers us home, marking the end of our journey. Garland, who is best known for her role in The Wizard of Oz, was notably cast and then sacked from the 1967 production of Valley of the Dolls due to onset inconsistency. Garland was charming and funny, but she had a drinking problem, according to Patty Duke, who played Neely O'Hara in the film. After refusing to come out of her dressing room during one episode, Garland was fired, dismissed to go, well, home sweet home. Is there any topic you want us to discuss in our next videos? Please tell us in the comments section below.